This is another trial tribulation with Mama Solily. I do not know if I will keep this or not, but I'm actually coming to look into the planetary, the seven ancient planetary systems, or should I say the celestial bodies, um, just to see how this flows or how this goes. But of course, if it's something that is good, I'm going to keep it and upload it. So, you know what to do, all that jazz. Let's see what the astrological, let's just see what wants to come out as a double enforcer to the energy of the planets, the ancient planets, the sun, the moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn. Saturn. Okay. If it wants to emphasize anything of that nature. Or am I pulling one for each one? I don't know. Let's see. Alright. The sun. The planetary expression of the sun. We have the blood moon and the ninth house. Mm, that looks like the moon. The sun. Ninth house. For the sun, you can be a Sagittarius. We have the blood moon. Your sun sign may be in the ninth house. The blood moon for the moon. Okay. Mars. The moon tapping into the shadow. You know, to cleanse, to reset. This could be um, some actions towards some new ideas within spirituality too of the sun. This can also involve, um, uh, what is it called? <laughs> Come on, travel <laughs> or taking some type of internal journey to seek out some level within uh, your about your personality. Okay, for Mars, the action you have, you're discovering the myriad facets of who you are okay so you're taking actions yeah so this is shadow work this is looking into the sun the personality of yourself to bring more wisdom um to the self at this time so the actions towards self-empowerment self-enlightenment um self-liberation Mercury, self-care, self-love, Mercury, the communication of the snow moon, yeah, right now Mercury is in retrograde, cold, you know, not so resourceful, communications between um, energy is not so resourceful because this is the time of cleansing or purging or um what did i say earlier retrospection introspection this is planning process mercury of the mind is have us within the rest state of planning so a, a lot of stillness especially for the feminine females a lot of stillness this is also um, within the masculine males um, stillness within stillness within the lack of use of the feminine energy not using the dark attributes or aspects of the feminine female of the unknown of the blood the sacred DNA then for Jupiter we have Leo Okay, some of you may have um, Jupiter in your fifth house here. So this expansion is really being um, playful, being very charismatic. Um, Jupiter is asking us to be very ca charismatic, be very expressive, be very detailed oriented in the things of our treasures. This is not limiting the self. This is not limiting the self. Um, someone here may have a Leo in the ninth house as well. Um, it's very fiery and dynamic here. It's very confident. It's very sure. It's very knowing where you want to go. This is knowing where you want to go. 
Venus. North Node. Okay, Venus is asking us to go towards our embrace. Okay, our creativity. Embrace our creativity. Embrace our possessions of our purpose. You know, this is um, Venus also saying be more open to the challenges. Be more receptive to the challenges because the challenges also strengthen um, the things of your values, um, the things of your possession, the things of your glam or beauty, um, fulfillment, fulfillment. That's the word I'm struggling to find. Fulfillment. All right, Saturn. Saturn, what do you want to bring to the table? The wolf moon. It's a lot of moon energy. We got the blood moon, the snow moon, and the wolf moon. We have the wolf moon. Disciplining ourselves within within the pack. Ask your pack to assist you. Um, Saturn is, yeah, this is an expression. Jupiter, the expression of moving forward within the pack. This is actually coming to embody the instincts of yourself this is learning the lessons in how to be more instinctive this is being less mode driven or being less um i'm hearing methodical or being precise or prestige uh uh prestige hmm let me pause for a second <clears throat> learning your own identity bringing things into perspective looking at your emotional baggage this is another area of soul search soul journey You're discovering the myriad facets of who you are. Who you are within the North Node. Coming out of the energy of the South Node. This is coming into learning how to express. To express it. The language of the expression. And this is also why Sagittarius energy of the Ninth House. You know. Dealing with the learning. The different adventures. There's some emotional baggage with these moon energies, you know, that really has to be searched out. Really have to be well planned and organized, cleaning up some of the areas of mess or debris. How to not be more destructive or what needs to be destroyed what needs to be destroyed so that you can rebuild or yeah rebuild towards your true purpose Pisces yeah Saturn and the moon Pisces 12th house energy yeah this is healing this is planetary healing as well the cosmic clearing certain debts within the cosmos no longer being introverted or sitting back but now coming to rectify and come stand forward expansion of Leo standing forward proudly boldly you know whether the fire has to tear down some things to uh, to restore to restore uh, the old patterns or the old paradigm you know within religions or 
you know, or within law or, you know, um, you know, those type of things, uh, how we use our energy, all, all of that, um, how we use the energy of the earth as well, how we're using it up to have the things that are just within this Western society. But there's a scarcity. The snow moon, there's a scarcity. Within the mind, I'm hearing, because that's the mercury energy. Or maybe this is scarcity in not seeing the details or not knowing what it is. I don't know. Let's um let's get some tarot on this. Maybe that'll give a little more insight to this. Some of you are drained mentally too. Mentally drained, not able to come up with a plan, not able to come up with the ideas how to maneuver right now a lot of minds are really kind of cloudy or heavy or burdensome and and this can be the making sense of this wolf energy that between the pack the pack being the heavens and the earth or the earth and the heavens all right the sun all right, son. No, 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 no. I'm not ready, son. Come on, ninth house. What goes with the ninth house and the sun? With the sun. The empress. This is nurturing, nurturing dedication to what's being learned. This is some type of security within your communication. This is also how it's radiating because I'm seeing the sun in this ninth house and this empress radiating it's like hot high beams it's like how do you want to amplify how do you want to amplify your space how do you want to grow or cultivate your space the space within your mind your body and your spirit and your emotions to bring the wisdom because uh, empress is wise because she's learned She's gone through, she's gained all of the elements, the true alchemist of the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Waters. That is the embodiment of her. She knows when to pull, when to draw forward. The sun is saying, know when to draw information I'm also hearing for some of you that some of you have been considering doing certain rituals, spiritual practices with the sun. I say go for it. The moon, a little more with the moon energy. What is this blood moon? This emotional baggage of shadow work for the spiritual growth and development. The hidden, what is the hidden secret or hidden treasure yeah what's the hidden truth oh that's too many i don't want four cards no i don't want four cards what's the hidden truth that brings forth the treasure thank you the hidden truth is balance patience the hidden truth is patience patience with your emotions patience with yourself to take the time to learn the things with 
in or about your personality. This is also taking, being patient with learning the chemistry of your spiritual science, of your birth chart, in better understanding the language of the planets. This is one of the intentions behind why I'm trying these different methods because I really desire for the collective, for those that need more insight or more understanding to what you're already gaining on the outside, that this can actually come to develop to make more sense of the energy um, in what you're already learning in regards to the planetary bodies. Mars. What is these discoveries? What, what is our discovery? Hmm? The page of wands with the five of wands. This is discovering maybe how you've been defeating yourself and the things that you've been communicating to yourself. Because the things that you've been communicating to yourself with these wands here can affect your actions and where you walk and where you go. This can also create the disturbance in uh, in the public eye or how the public views you. This feels like someone that may have a um, Mars placement within the 11th house or possibly the 5th house. This is taming the beast, the actions to taming the beast, the inner beast through the ecosystem or the ecosystem of the vibrational frequencies that the planets or that the omniverse brings or teleports or brings to you. Mercury. What is the snow moon? Mercury. Yeah, cleansing. Take the winter to cleanse, to cleanse the heart. Mercury wants everyone to really go through the transition. Allow this transitional period of Mercury retrograde to really cleanse and purify your energy, to cleanse and purify your emotions, to cleanse and purify and cleanse your thoughts. This is also um, changing the way that you speak or communicate. This is also paying more closer details to the things that are being communicated to you, that are being communicated to you from the etheric realms, okay? Because I'm seeing these dragons as well that represents the primordial mothers. This is rejuvenating the soul. Mercury is saying take this time to rejuvenate your soul so that your cup can runneth over into the plans within your future. Jupiter. We have the Knight of Cups and the Emperor. Okay, yes. The Sun and Jupiter are working in harmony. Yeah. The Sun and Jupiter is working in harmony. We got the Knight of Cups and the Emperor. This is massive expansion. Through the token of love. Through through the token of love and the, what Mercury is asking us to use this time of um, hibernation or cold, desolate winter or whatever to really utilize that. Yeah, because it's coming in. It's coming in. And you have to be ready to receive it. You have to put away childlike ways of thinking 
acting or being isn't the five of wands childlike ways of acting just constantly within conflict or competition or trying to prove yourself to someone or someone trying to prove themselves to you when there's really nothing to prove at all to neither one or the other but to observe the emotions and what's being expressed outwardly that's being expressed outwardly um, so that we can make the necessary changes to actually stand in this dynamic energy here of balance, harmony, security within the heart space as well as the monetary things in our value. This is an extreme expansion. What is this north node of Venus? Venus, what is your expression with the north node? Hmm. Clean up your mind. Clean up your mind and embrace Clean up your mind, clean up your mind, and embrace, embrace. This is, this nine of pentacles is your north node. This is your arrival, okay, to your great fortune to begin your legacy. This is coming out of those limitations of the mind, freeing the self from the limitations of the past, of the south node energy. This is really learning from it and setting oneself free and identifying which each sword represents to you within your life. The times and when you rested and recuperated, the times when you were within heartache and pain, um, self-discriminating um, conflict of self or discrimination of others, defecation of others that you've dealt with, that you've gotten comfortable or accustomed to dealing with and now you're coming with the sword that stands in front of truth to now walk towards the things that are more successful and fulfilling within your life because you have now gained the wisdom you've now gained the wisdom through alchemy to, through alchemizing your situations within life to actually overcome those challenges so when those challenges come and face you again, you know how to handle them. You know how to take action with them because that's with Mars energy. You will know how to take action with them. I do desire that I'm clear. And because Saturn is in the 12th house energy of Pisces, I really feel like this has something to say because the 12th house was at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what Saturn wants to say about the people we have around us. Okay, Chrome Energy, the Queen of Cups came out. Saturn. What's the groups of association? A burden that's blocking us from where we need to go to free the karma and <laughs> to learn the lesson. Okay. Okay. Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, and Karma. Judgment. Awakening. Awareness. Let's look into this a little deeper here. Oh. And the Queen of Cups. I feel like the Queen of Cups is Saturn coming with the expression of love. Deep down within your subconscious collective. You know what you need to forgive. You know what you need to let go of. I want to I just want to emphasize this 12th house energy right here and what it says because the word comes out twice with Saturn karma karma and we all know that Saturn deals with karma 
Saturn is the deciding factor in what expands us, that extends us or grants us the keys to our Jupiter. And this is a beautiful energy of Jupiter here, fam. If I can find it and get it out. This is a beautiful expansion right here within creativity, within being very enthusiastic and, you know, heart driven and heart led and, you know, um, being very courageous and being proud and, you know, having senses of, of pride, you know, um, of one's accomplishments um, through the shadows of the heart and the achievement of your earthly reality. Saturn is really asking the collective and it's coming out again. You got to let go of some shit. You got to let go of some stuff so that you can get yourself in position. That's like with me and my move. I got to let go of stuff. Stuff cannot, certain energy does not need to go with me. It does not need to go with me. It needs, it's, all it's doing is burden me down, giving me more things that I have to clean or more things that I have to be considered about and where placement and where I'm going to place it. What am I going to do with it? This is like letting it go so that we can really get in position. And I feel like the position is going to free us from this. It's going to bring in the wake up call. And the wake up call to, how can I say, to be more forgiving, to be more expressive, to be more full within the self, to be more um, receptive to receive the pack or the like minded people that we need individually in our lives, whether this is a loan, um, a loan officer, whether this is a, you know, a business partner, whether this is a soulmate whether this is um, a house, a car, whatever it is in your individual life, you know, you really have to release. You have to cleanse. You have to purge. That came out with those moons, you know, and this is why the actions of Mars is really asking us to uncover, discover the things of ourselves that we have truly been conflicting or defeating I don't know fam I know what I'm trying to say but I just can't get it out to release the old things of the past that has been truly keeping our minds imprisoned keeping us isolated keeping us just keeping us limited and not growing to our fullest potential I desire that this makes sense to the collective. I like this vibe. But let me know what you think. I might be a little tired because this is my second video. So I'm a little jumble jamble. But hey, energy changes. It shifts. So that's what it is. Until next time, my beautiful souls. You know what to do. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like it. Don't like it. Can do without it. However, thumbs down. Not the thumbs down to the video. Put it in the emoji if you don't like the style. Until next time, my beautiful souls. Ashe.